As Josephine Baker was making waves in Paris and Freddie Washington had all eyes on her in New York, black women were also making strides in California. Women like Teresa Harris, Mildred Washington, Roberta Heisen, and later on, Nina Mae McKinney walked Hollywood sound stages in the late 1920s to embody the era's flapper image on the screen. In this video, we put a spotlight on Roberta Heisen, a staple on Los Angeles' black nightclub circuit and star of the Darktown Birmingham short film series. Roberta Juanita Dudley was born on March 27, 1905 in Dallas, Texas. When she was a child, like her peers, Teresa Harris and Mildred Washington, the Dudley family migrated from Texas to sunny Los Angeles. On March 27, 1924, Roberta married a truck driver by the name of George Heisen, subsequently becoming known in the city as Roberta Heisen. At some point in the 1920s, Heisen started her entertainment career, eventually becoming a member of the famed Lafayette Players. In addition to working in movies and on the stage, Heisen also worked on radio as a member of the Three Queens of Spades, a performance trio that consisted of herself, Lottie Anderson, and Ruth Lee. In 1929, Roberta Heisen would appear in a series of comedy shorts produced by the Christie Film Company, based on the Darktown Birmingham stories written by Octavius Ward Cohen for the Saturday Evening Post. The stories were adapted for the screen and starred popular Lafayette players like Edward Thompson, Evelyn Preer, and of course, Roberta Heisen. Heisen appeared as a sharp, stylish, and quick-witted woman in each of these shorts, being one of Hollywood's few representations of the black American flapper. Roberta Heisen died in Los Angeles, California on January 21st, 1983. Honor her legacy today by watching her in The Melancholy Dame, Music Hath Arms, The Frame of the Shrew, Off in the Silly Night, and Brown Gravy, all available to view on YouTube.